What's going on, guys? So if you are experiencing what I have just gone through, then I hope that this saves you just so much frustration. I have, for hours and hours, I have been researching this problem. And if you have just tried to log on to your website and all you see is PHP code, you're in the right place. I'm going to go over not just what fixed my site because there's actually lots of different remedies that I found online. We're going to go through all of those and I am going to, of course, share with you what ended up fixing the problem for me as well as show you exactly what it looks like. So pay attention to this next screen because if your site looks like this, then you're in the right place. So let's just dive right in. So if you go to your WP-admin, you're trying to log in and you see this PHP code and all this stuff through here. Uh, if you go to your home page and this is all you see, then you're definitely in the right place. So how <laughs> in the research that I did, the uh, there were a few things that you can try and I've tried all of them. Number one. You can rename your plugins folder. Maybe there's a broken plugin or something that's not working right. And uh, I, in this particular case, I don't have cPanel, but if you have cPanel, you can go into the file manager and then in the file manager, uh, look for public HTML, the folder public HTML. And then under that folder, you'll see all of your websites and you're gonna look for the site that you're working on. Click on that, make sure that all of the, you know, the, you'll have an option to show hidden files. Make sure that that box is clicked before you start going down that pathway because uh, otherwise you might not be able to see your HT access file, but that's how you get to it. Uh, well, and and that was what ended up fixing mine, some, some modifications in there. But in any case, if you're on, um, you know, once you get to your plugins folder, you can just rename plugins to like plugins dash zero one. That's what I did. So what that does is it basically takes all of your plugins that you've installed on your site out of play. Uh, if that doesn't fix it, um, the next thing I tried doing was removing all of the, uh, I had just done a bunch of speed optimization work. I removed all of the code from the HT access file from WP Rocket. Now, whether you're using um, uh, W3 Total Cache or um, any of these these uh, caching plugins or whatever, they'll put new information into your HD access file. So I just took that out. Uh, I ended up also trying to rename the theme. Uh, so I went into file manager, went into the under WP content, went under themes. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned WP content. That is where your plugins uh, folder is as well. I renamed the theme, hoping that that would sort of... Uh, get the you know get the site to just do something um, and then I also um, found online that people recommended updating your all so downloading a fresh copy of WordPress and then replacing the WP admin folder and the WP includes folder with all new uh, new stuff and finally uh, I'm going to show you what worked for me now I had to go in through FTP for this particular uh, site because I don't have a cPanel. But once I got into here, uh, you can kind of see WP content. You can see this is the plugin. So I basically just went in here and I re yeah right click and I rename and I just made it like dash zero one you know just or or you can do old or whatever you know that just kind of takes everything in that folder out of play. And if, if the what's broken is in there, that's going to get rid of that problem. So you can see where uh, I replaced the admin folder. I replaced the includes folder. It's still nothing was working. What ended up fixing the problem was, um, was this line of code right here. So this is your boilerplate. Uh, information here for a standard HT access file and if you uh, go to WordPress support article HD access you'll see that boilerplate information here uh, and you can just copy that and paste it into your uh, HT access file but if um, let me just get to the right place but in my case, I, I, you know, I deleted everything, but this was the one thing I didn't really notice. This add handler application 
x http d and with the php version of 7.0 i realized on my server i have seven i think i'm running seven two or seven three and so all i had to do was literally add a pound sign to comment this out like that right so this is how you leave a, a comment in your ht access file and save it and that fixed the problem so i hope this video saves you hours of frustration watch what happens now i'm just going to re reload this now in order to hard reload the the page what you want to do is hold down the shift key if you right click on your mouse and hit reload or you hold down the shift key and you click on this button here oh did i save it hang on i might not have saved it ah yeah so i need to actually save it and now reload now my site is back uh my home page i'll just reload it here shift and reload everything is back and now i can go back to basically where i started and um, uh, add the optimization stuff back into the ht access folder now a uh, quick note if you're using bluehost i think bluehost hides where the ht access file is typically that's going to be under your like the main root so if you're so if you're like thinking of going into your file manager and then looking for public HTML and then your website. When you click on that folder where your website is listed, that is where you'll see the HT access file. If you can't find it and you're using like Bluehost, I think there's, um, let me see if I can find the, that's boilerplate, let's see, do, do, do. This right here, I can put this in the description, Kickstart Commerce. This guy did a great job. He tell, he shows you how to add a little bit of uh, information after the, the information up in your browser. So up in here. So basically, he puts the question mark, which lets, lets the browser know, oh, well, here comes a key and value uh, string, and then... So it's basically saying, oh, and there's a query is going to equal one and and I want you to show hidden. Uh, so, you know, zero, one, obviously on off and then save option and whatnot. So that's going to be um, the way to get around that in Bluehost. I hope this has helped you. I hope it saved you hours of frustration. Please make sure to like and subscribe if this helped you and uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video where hopefully I won't be losing my mind. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.